The life of Alice, a farmer and a mother of 10, mirrors that of majority of farmers in Machakos, a district that is known to have over time experienced the worst side of dry weather and drought. Farming on such dry terrain and under the harsh weather conditions has continued to frustrate farmers like Alice, as she tells us when we visited her home at Kalama, Machakos. <laughs> Access to water is also difficult, she tells us. Her farming, a struggle that she had begrudgingly accepted as fate until a 35-member group she joined sharpened her farming skills, teaching her how to succeed in agriculture without having to rely on fertilizer, thanks to land care management training from the land care project. Reafforestation and land care management is a concept that is slowly being adopted in the region that is largely steep and thus prone to massive soil erosion. The presence of tree seedlings in the area, a testimony to a growing project expected to benefit the community in future. And it is this future that a 32-member focal area group is looking at in the continued concerted communal effort to improve agriculture in this otherwise unproductive area. Now land care has empowered us in terms of knowledge so much. Since, since 2007, we learned that uh, land management has to have benefits to the farmer, direct benefits to the farmer. And the farmer should not concentrate to, to farming without getting uh, benefits from farming. They have organized themselves into groups so that they may co conduct conservation agriculture which it involves several ways of doing it. One, uh, they, they, they grow trees, that is agroforestry, in their farms. Uh, they grow forestry trees in their farms. They grow fruit trees in their farms in order to ensure that soil cover is strengthened in the area. And the, the leaves that fall from the trees give humus also to the land. And for Ngomeni Women's Group that specializes in planting and selling of tree seedlings, it has been good business tidings since the initiative was started in 2007. A 25-member group that was started way back in 1989 and that has been involved in several other agricultural-based projects including soil conservation and water harvesting. The tree seedling selling project, however, is their best undertaking so far, both in monetary as well as basic requirements. Na kulikuwa hata hakuna kifuli, ukienda wanatembea mali kubwa bila hata kuwa na kifuli. Na kulikuwa na shida hata ya kupata makaa, na hata hatu kuwa na matunda ya kula, ukienda kwa shamba, Kenya Land Care bought uh, seedlings from us. They did not take the seedlings away, but they requested us to give them to the uh, community around. Some to be planted in schools, churches, along the roads, and the others were planted by us. The project has also been beneficial to the women's group allowing them to fully revive their water harvesting project to counter the prevalent water shortages in the area. That money, which was more than 141,000, 
was used to, to buy each member a water tank. These noble initiatives are enjoying local government support in implementation, albeit slowly. The, the provincial administration ensures that if there are conflicts, they are solved amicably, and we also ensure that these bylaws are followed so that people do not uh, go beyond what they plan to do. As provincial administration, uh, we have tried very much to to sensitize the people and they come together to form groups so that they can they can get assistance from either the government or from the non-government organizations. Organizations such as the World Agroforestry Center in partnership with the locals have introduced such indigenous fruit trees as Phytharbia albida species, Jatropha popo and passion trees to help not only in soil rehabilitation but also in its nutrition to improve quality of life among the community. Its effect three years on, one that is slowly transforming this once dry terrain into a green landscape, working its way progressively into a food sufficient community. Indeed, land care could provide the key to an evergreen agriculture for many smallholder farmers in the region.